Hello, and welcome back to the Misfits podcast, rated five stars on YouTube by who? Who? And they said, asked. Oh. We're here, joined Ooh. in this episode by our good friend, Toby. Hi. Or, or also pretty good, but kind of charming individual, Ooh. Mason. My fit's fucking mad today. It's it is fucking yellow. mad. Bananas in pajamas type beat, bro. Where'd you get that from? Uh, bananas in pajamas fell downstairs and robbed them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't kick, know where blue kick, and white kick, stripes. You kicked them in their stupid fucking yellow teeth? <laughs> no, I peeled them. Oh, you oh, peeled them? Peeled dude, them. that's fucking dumb. You pr- practically I, scalping. Yeah, I, I was thinking that too. You basically took a knife to their skin and cut them open and peeled it off of them. Peeled them and then... You separated their epidermis from their, from their skeletal structures. That still not make me accountable if they're fruit. You know, I'm you not, didn't mean you're I didn't say that. No, no, I mean, no. You're just, you're just, uh, a, Matt, you're yes. just a murderer and a sicko. Uh, and that's, and that's, that's, that's why we love him. No, no, no. We're also joined by Matt. <laughs> yeah, going on, mate. He's chilling, Matt. Yeah, Matt didn't scalp a banana. Yeah. Matt, yeah. Matt, sick of those scalpers. It kind of fucks just to get a little piece of shit to resell. Like, come on, it's kind of fucked up. Absolutely. You killed a guy, mate. Prime, prime technology, bro. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, Every, everyone, everyone's mad at all the scalpers who, like that are fucking, you know, reselling PS5s. But nobody's mad at those goddamn engines for, for scalping all those white people, like, you know, 300 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> can you even say that? Yeah, sure I can. There's not, can many, you, of them, there's not many of them around. Can you say... <laughs> Wait, what's scalping? Oh, it's when you take a, oh. it's when you take like a knife or you know one of those <laughs> kind of like like a analog to a knife, like something sharp, and then you grab somebody's head and you slice. Oh, over, uh, over, uh, like, TMI, scalp, bro, TMI, And then you bro. fucking you, you fucking rip it off through skull. Yeah, but it's TMI, crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got it. Too many. Oh, I got it. T- perfect. Thanks for the. Uh, Insight to that. You're no problem. Uh, we're, pl- we're politically correct here on the Misfits podcast. Is engine politically correct? I In- don't think engine? it is. What the fuck is engine? Vroom, I thought- vroom. <laughs> it's an engine? Isn't engine also a word? <laughs> also joined by Captain Gaslight <laughs> Fleet that on, it is. on the episode, <laughs> I'm here, Swagger Souls. How are we? I'm fucking awful. Thank you. <laughs> And, uh, and yeah. Who are you talking to? Oh, dude, my, 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 my whole number of people inside of my skull. I'm having, a, I'm having a, what you call a mental health week. Oh. Not oh. for my own benefit. Does that mean that we're supposed to ask you, you okay, but not why are you, just you? And yeah. Maybe uh, I'll just okay. say UK? United Kingdom? <laughs> UK? U- UK? UK? Oh. <laughs> how, do, how do fucking British people say yes? I, I don't know. I... Is it I? They probably say yes. I would guess. Perhaps they would. I mean, they do speak English. (laughs) Yeah. Just a different type of English. Yeah, very broken. It's it's uh, yeah, it's an it's an, it's an accent you can only talk through broken teeth. Yeah. Mm. Do, you reckon like, the, do you reckon the royal family just fucks each other so that they can uh, keep the bloodline pure? I think they just I do think, it for fun. Yeah. I I mean, what else are they gonna do in that big old palace of theirs? Yeah. Yeah. You, if you're the queen, you can't just go for a fucking walk to go get laid in the local pub. You know? No, absolutely not. No, you gotta fuck your I feel fucking like she's, children. She, I feel like she's classier than than going to a pub though. Yeah, she'd probably doesn't have maybe, a glory maybe, hole. Maybe bingo. Oh, having getting laid at bingo. Getting laid at bingo. You see what all the cool old cats are doing. Yeah. It's, it's the bee's knees. First person to get their full bingo gets a orgasm. <laughs> I'd be playing from, so much bingo from, that the the from the queen. Is that why old people play it? Is that what they do in retirement? They got nothing else to do? I've heard yeah, that dude. I've heard that retirement homes are just like big sex dens. Yeah, it's like yeah, bad it's like the, STDs. They, call, yeah. they, go, they go E8 and then the guy in the bank's like ejaculate and then <laughs> and there we go so yeah. I say, what'd you say but yeah i've heard that old people <laughs> fuck it fuck a load they do fuck a load old yeah. people old people have it have it good because yeah. when it comes to like you know coming coming or conceiving you don't have to wear a condom you know when i was when i was 10 years old this is going to be great. When I was ten years what old, is this lead into? when I was ten you years got old, pregnant when you were ten? No, when I was, it was I was like ten or eleven. I was in a, a, my local mall shopping somewhere. It was like fucking Zoomies or some shit. A classy place. And uh, and and then I, I, I there was this old guy talking to another old guy. They're yeah. both like 70, 60, 70. and one turns the other. He's like. He's like, oh yeah, you should go. Uh, you should go to the pharmacy and buy some condoms for, uh, for, for you know, some, you know, his wife or whatever. And he goes, he's like, what are you talking about? She went through menopause twenty years ago. <laughs> I don't need a condom. And then my ten-year-old brain was like, 
mom, which men <laughs> And then yeah. there we go. Just learn well, everything. That, I mean, that's from the a thing. random guy at a pharmacy. That's why old people get so many STIs. Because yeah? they don't wear condoms. I thought it was all the fucking heroin needles are sticking in their arms. Are all old people addicted to heroin? I'd be if I was fucking old. Like, I guess do? that's true. What else are you gonna do? What drug would you do if you like had like four months to live? Heroin. Four months to Probably live. Probably all of them. All yeah, of them. Just all on a binge. Maybe not man. crocodile. What's it called? There's like not Jedi crocodile. flip, hippie flip. What's the one where you just do all the drugs? What's a Jedi flip? Isn't it like one with like shrooms and MDMA and the other one's like acid and MDMA? Candy, uh, candy, uh, candy flips acid it, yeah. and MDMA. Jedi flip is uh, mushrooms and MDMA. Yeah, no, I that's, think, no. that's when Qui-Gon Jinn does a backflip. Blue, <laughs> blue. Okay, we're going to get a producer. He's very well versed in, uh, in the internet so we can Google it for us. What? what, what, <laughs> what, what, what we what's, don't know how to Google here, guys. We what, don't know what, how to use computers. What is a Jedi flip? Besides, like, or no, what I think Anakin it's all three. Did. I think it's LSD, shrooms, and MDMA. Is that a Jedi flip? I think so. Why would you do that? Ecstasy, <laughs> mushrooms, and acid. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, it seems like a lot. You know? I, I, I feel like I would feel the force. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I would absolutely yeah, feel yeah. the force. Maybe that's why they the call couch. it that. Fuck, yeah, it makes I'd be sense. Fucking, fucking grab a flashlight, fucking swinging it around. <laughs> I feel like... Tr trying, to, right. trying to fucking, like, cut a hole in the wall to run through it, like, you know, Looney Tunes. I feel like if you did DMT... No, no. If you did acid, mushrooms, and ayahuasca all at the same time, I thought you'd be able to see the molecules in your in, of your person. I don't think you'd be able to see fucking anything. <laughs> the entire world would be melting in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'd probably want to pull your eyes out of your head. When and I did acid, nothing vomit. was like melting or anything. I was just like, whoa. We and didn't do a like, full dose, though. True. We, only we did half a tab. We felt like a full tab. By the way, uh, you should listen to that podcast. Uh, we did LSD in all caps. That's uh, that's the podcast where we properly go over um, what acid is, and uh, yeah, so you know, don't, don't just listen to what we're saying and then fucking take acid. Yeah, you get know, educated. Get educated. Pussy. Educated. Do your first. do your do your fucking research. And don't get shitty with us because we've talked about it before. Yeah. Bitch. Fuck you. Just go re-listen, and then fucking cry about it, bitch. Are you done? Sorry. Yeah. Come on, bitch. Yes, come on. Here, hold my hand. I'm just really upset. Just let's take a moment it's here okay, to it's okay, embrace this wholesome fine. moment between. Okay. Remember those exercises sweats. that we that we that we went through? <sighs> yeah. Okay, breathe. Matt, do you want to hold my? Can we roll breathe? a blunt with oh, this? Okay. You want to yeah, hold my bevy? Blunt, yeah. Just, just hold any bevy, bro. I right, hold some gamer Breathe, sucks. breathe. Okay, now push. <laughs> push. Okay, it's crowning. <laughs> Isn't childbirth beautiful? Oh, man, <laughs> she was just taking a shit. Oh, all right. Oh. Yeah. I would never you have imagine, a baby. Dude, <laughs> we're way off. You know, crowning is the perfect term to replace, um, uh, what was it, the turtle or the gopher? You know when you when you, when you're like <laughs> turtling. Oh, when you're yeah, turtle heading. When you're turtle heading, oh, yeah. yeah. When you like when you have like a, a log of shit being pushed yeah. through your intestines. When the turtle's peeking like, out maybe like yeah. an inch, an inch out. It's kind of like looking around. It's sniffing, like you know. Oh, is this a toilet? No, it's still underwear. Good, good brand, Calvin Klein. Not too bad. I don't want to get get on any of that. So then it just comes goes back in. You should call that crowning Why instead crowning? of turtle heading, because you know that's what happens when like babies are like almost into the birth canal. It's called crowning. Yeah, it's called crowning. Oh. You see the crown of their head, because because <laughs> all babies are kings. Ah. Uh. And, and deserve winners, to, and deserve and, to be and, overthrown and killed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that went really <laughs> deep for a second. Um, I was just gonna say we're all winners. We all won a spoon race. Yeah, we we are. We are. We're quickest. We're oh, all yeah. essentially the quickest. But who? It's actually not. You saying bolt? It's not true. Oh what? Uh, the sperm that inseminates the egg is not the quickest. What? Yeah. Oh, wasn't it like the second? It's, 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 shit. it's like one of the one of the laggers, one of the people that like really got behind is people that like probably tabbed out, you know, took a piss or whatever, and then loaded onto the game, found out it's like fifteen seconds into the round, they're like, Oh shit. Uh, they take out their knife, they sprint they sprint for the egg. They hop. They fucking trying to be hop it. <laughs> but and lo and behold, there's like, you know, maybe a couple thousand spermies already trying to get inside. And so the sperm eats away at the at the shell of this egg. Uh, like the membrane or whatever, and then once that is open, one of them can just go right through. Boom! That's the kid. Fuck everyone else. Hmm. It's Education. kind of crazy that only one can go through. Yeah, you know I'm. I, you know, because no, twins and shit. Yeah, well, that's, you know, that's, that's not, a completely that's different. different thing. Oh, okay. There's two <laughs> babies. I mean, two eggs or whatever. Yeah, there's like two eggs. And then they're like fighting over the DNA. 
And then one's like, no, nah, I want to be this one. He's like, no, you, you, I want to be that one. And then they come to a disagreement, and then they do like rock, paper, scissors. Uh, <laughs> except but it's more like a war, so they're like fighting, right? It, yeah. it only becomes a war when they start to consume each other in the womb. Oh shit! You know, kid. You know they. You know they do that. You know, like when they're pregnant, they have twins. Sometimes one of the twins will just be like, "I'm hungry. I'm just gonna fucking absorb my what? twin real quick." Bro, that's Which how cannibals fucking, are born. It's bro. fucking insane. <laughs> if 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 anyone is listening to this podcast and you're and you're a you're a twin who absorbed their sibling in the womb, but how would you know? Do you have superpowers it's be- now? It's because they have they have powers. They oh. they're 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 basically stronger. They're Faster, damn! Not as hungry though. They could tr- they could jump really high. <laughs> Twins, yeah. yeah. Twinsies, twinsies. <laughs> Man, I would totally eat my sibling in the womb. <laughs> I was a hungry kid. Isn't that what sharks do? They'll have like ten sharks and they'll be hungry. It's like, oh, I'm hungry. And you start eating all the other. Yeah, sharks. well, the sharks are like, yeah, I had a bunch of kids. You know, two of these guys are okay, but you know, I'm getting, the rest of them are kind of cunts. You make them. I could probably go for a snack. Yeah. Would you eat your own child? Uh, if I, you know, if I felt like it. If he was really Not misbehaving. Really. I think it seems like... You guys are absolute sickos. Why? You just said you would eat your own kid. It's horrible. Well, I mean, you know, what, what, what depends on the circumstance. What circumstance would it be suitable to eat your own child? If, if Uritz was down. Yeah. Other than that, <laughs> that's a no-go, obviously. Yeah, Uritz, man. If that ain't in range, then... Yeah. What do you want me to eat? You want me to go to the supermarket? Oh, maybe some avocado on toast. I don't have avocado. Avocado on a kid, though. You go days in and eat some worms in the ground. Yeah, you could, like, just, you could yeah. just dig a hole in the ground and eat worms. See, why are people starving on the street? There's so much dirt. There's so many worms. There's so many little grubs. So you, get, you don't even get sick off worms, bro. No, you can eat as many worms yeah. as you want. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, especially if they're like flat and white. Guys, go try it. Just try eating worms. Like, if they're like, <laughs> if, they're <laughs> like actually. if you guys, if you, this is a real talk. If you're, uh, if you're listening to this podcast, you're particularly hungry. Go to like a lake bed or something, and trying to like scrounge around in the silt. And if you find like a little, a little worm, then it's like flat and 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 white. Uh, almost looks like a roll of tape. Just swallow it. That sounds like a tapeworm. No, uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you swallow it. You'll lose a lot of weight. He'll yeah. be he'll be your new buddy. He'll be like a pet that you always carry around with you and you share your food with. Yeah, like that episode of um, Family Guy. No, no, oh. uh, Trailer Park Boys. Uh the cartoon version. That's the one. Haven't you seen that? No. Uh it's like uh, where. Is it Ricky, the redhead guy? He gets like a tapeworm and he like treats it as his pet. As his pet. <laughs> That's such a good premise. Calls him, calls him wormy and stuff and gives it to his kid as a pet. <laughs> Dude, that's so dumb. Yeah, yeah, it's funny as fuck. You should watch that uh, cartoon, guys. Fucking Trailer Park Boys. Good mm. shit. Hell yeah. I know there was a live action thing. Yeah, it was like a good, like really good storyline and I shit. I didn't know they made a cartoon. No, they, they, yeah, they did. And one of the guys, I think, uh old what's the guy's name the old bloke uh the, yeah. the, the, lit, the lit guy who drinks heaps of liquor i think he like died and then they used his old voice lines in the original oh that's cool in, oh in, in, yeah in the actual cartoon i tried to tell kobe but he wouldn't believe me i was like bro if you listen carefully and kobe's like, your brother yeah 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 and if you kobe listen kobe bryant kobe not kobe bryant no, Rest no, in no, no clearly not <laughs> but uh yeah yeah, anyway, I always, cool I always thought, yeah, I always thought a t- tattoo on your knuckles because you really like basketball. People say that. People think I misspelled Kobe Bryant. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Stop roasting me tats. No, he just really likes Japanese steak. Mm, that Kobe, was Japanese steak. Yeah, is. Kobe beef. Oh, mm. what the fuck? It's Kobe with an E. I thought <laughs> Still kosher. misspelled. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, let's shake things up a little. In, in uh, what in what way? Literally, there was an earthquake like a oh, week yeah. ago. Oh yeah, about that. Oh, you know, literally like a week ago. Do you guys remember that shit? Where were you when the earthquake happened? I was. Asleep. I just got out of the shower. I was drying my hair with a hair dryer, and then like I was a like, woman. I was like, sounds like the the washing machine is just going ham and just shaking a bit, and then um, that was it. That's what I heard as well. I heard the I woke up to the washing machine shaking, but then I just went back to sleep. I was like, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. I, I didn't even know there was an earthquake. What about you, man? I think I was just sitting at my desk editing. I'm just like, is that like a fucking cement truck rolling down the street? The hell is that? I'm like, it's it going for a it long was time now. Decently large, dude. I I was stirred awake. It was like nine thirty, and I'm like being rocked awake. And then I like I I hear like my windows shake, and I'm like, is it like really windy? 
I was like, oh my God, it's so windy. It's shaking my entire house. <laughs> and I was like, wait. And then everything else in my room started to shake. And I was like, holy shit, it's an earthquake. Yeah. It was the first ever earthquake that I ever felt underneath, oh, my, really? little, underneath really? my little toes. I'm yet to feel one. I don't even know what an earthquake feels like. Maybe I, was, I just slept stop, stop waking up at 2 p.m. Uh, maybe, dude, maybe you'll be able to I, feel I, the next I, earthquake. I've been waking up like 10 every morning. Yeah, well, you moved. Uh, yeah, you? I did move, yeah. And that fix your sleep schedule? Uh, actually, very, yeah, very much so. Good. Um, I've started eating healthier now. Oh, yeah? Like four meals. I mean, I actually made uh, a nice right. pork with salad, and I took a picture of it. Do you guys want to see? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, you know, right. when you say full meals, so instead of, like, just getting a burger, now you get burgers and fries? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, healthy meals. Get the potatoes meal. and your veggies potatoes, in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, shit. You cooked that yourself? Good. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, Caitlin chopped up the salad, but... uh. The rest was mine. Very nice. She shot through the salad, and then she cooked the, the pork. And, and then she tossed, tossed your salad. salad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was... I mean, I have that again tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want a yeah, tossed salad? No, no. The whole, the whole lot, bro. The oh, whole lot. everything. The whole yeah. 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 You're there for the whole meal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before, before... So, I remember the last time I saw you cook was when you live-streamed yourself cooking, oh, yeah. cooking some kind of pasta dish yeah. with Ma spinach. Meso's Kitchen. Yeah. Meso's Kitchen. Yeah. That was really good. I know. Actually, like, a lot of people came through to, sh like, watch that are stream. You, are you going to do more? Are you gonna, I've you been think? doing, like, little streams of me just doing using the barbecue because i like barbecuing hell yeah yeah dude. so i've been you should, like, cooking pork you should and certainly do a do a whole like you know fucking recipe <laughs> you should do, do like a rust, recipe like a rust recipe one where you oh, cook the mushrooms and everything yeah, yeah you get mushrooms like you actual get, rust recipe. and then someone breaks down your door and fucking takes your food yeah, yeah. wolf meat go to antarctica get a wolf and, and then go to <laughs> go to like a random bush and like pick all the all the red little seed <laughs> pies and then, berries yeah, yeah put them in there who cares if they're poisonous it could be it could be some good opportunities there, <laughs> but yeah, when I when I did that cooking stream and I made the meals, I put like so much spinach in. I was just choking on it the whole time. Mm. <laughs> you know, choking on spinach. You know, when I was seven year old, uh, when I was seven years old, I almost killed myself and my entire family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What? Well, okay. yeah, can you explain okay. with context? Oh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. So we were making smoothies. Is this an admission of guilt? What? So <laughs> in in like our front lawn was growing wild strawberries, which are like these really small strawberries, and and you know we were eating them or whatever. It was seven, and so like we were making milkshakes with wild strawberries and shit that we were picking out. And I went to a, I went to a bush with these little red you know these little red berries on it and then I fucking blend, started blending them out with my sister to give to my parents and, and my <laughs> for us to drink. My mom comes in and you know my sister's holding a fucking you know a big handful of these fucking you know poisonous <laughs> red fucking <laughs> seed pods and she's like where'd you get those? And we were like oh we picked them from the bush outside and she was like did you drink it? Did you eat them? And we're like no not yet we we're gonna make them for all of you and she <laughs> fucking just you know, like no and he explained <laughs> to us that it was poisonous we both were crying our eyes out oh shit Shit, you gotta learn somehow. Yeah. Like, like I mean, a lot of us were probably young and just thought. That's the thing, you know. I might eat these berries on this tree, or. But that's the thing, like you, when you're young, it's like, yeah, you could burn your hand on the stove, and now I know that the stove is hot, and I yeah. put my hands there. But you really can only eat those berries once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, True. You know. You're lucky there, man. I am lucky. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it didn't kill my entire family. Yeah, that would have been um ideal. It would not have been ideal. Although maybe one person would have had a sip and been like, oh, this doesn't taste quite right. Maybe don't drink it, guys. And then only one person would have died, you know? Mm. Yeah, but it's like the kid giving you the milkshake. You can't tell them that tastes like shit. You got to be like, mm, yeah, that tastes yeah. good. Good job. <laughs> you <know? laughs> okay, true. Exactly. And then you got to drink the whole thing. Yeah. Otherwise, the kids are going to cry. And sure. that's not worth it. Have you guys ever uh, done anything like that? By my parents? No. no I'm, I'm trying to think. Oh, I'm trying to think, almost. Hey, like, Have you ever endangered the life of your family? Oh, <laughs> oh really? No. Good. Not really. I used to. I, I did used to eat berries off random bushes, though. Yeah. When I was a kid, because like, why not? I when when you're you. a kid, That's why not. Well, yeah. But when you're a kid, it's just like, oh, oh it's a food. berry, and then you take a take a nibble. Yeah, oh, that tastes kind of kind of good, kind of fire, kind of kind of really yummy. Boston. Yeah, <laughs> bushing, bushing berries, bushing, bushing berries, bushing berries. I think I've told you guys the story. That for some reason, this came in my head of when I was, uh, I went skiing with my mate, and uh, we went up in this like shuttle, this just like random van that take takes you up the mountain. Sure. And uh, some person 
that was in the shuttle. The driver was like grabbing something and everyone was getting in the car to go back down. And uh, the driver was like, oh, I mean, the, the dude that was sitting in the front seat who didn't work with the guy or anything was like, oh, I'll turn on the car so we can have some air con. And he turns on the car and the car was left in gear. Oh. And it starts rolling backwards down the hill. And everyone's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? We all jump out. And like, luckily someone reached and like grabbed the handbrake and it stopped it before it fucking rolled off the mountain man that could have been a so much more entertaining story if nobody yeah. pulled the handbrake yeah if, if everyone died it would have been a lot better well not, you know if you were Just like the, if you were like the sole survivor that would have been pretty fun yeah. you don't have any family or friends on there did you Nah, just my friend, but you know. I drove quad bikes in Thailand once and uh, they like go up the mountains because, you know, it's like a like a very foresty, mountainy country, like where there's mm -hmm. not really any like railings or like proper civilization in some places. Mm. And um, I was on what the What do you mean? I thought they all wear ties everywhere. Yeah, it's Thailand. <laughs> yeah, I thought they're like really oh, up close. Aren't they super yeah, professional? Yeah, yeah, but that's in like the cities and stuff. Oh, yeah, you know, okay. like yeah, we're talking about I mountains. Get you. Yeah. And I was going up the hill on a quad bike with uh, my brother and my mum. And fucking, the, 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 I was like on the edge of the mountain and I started going up the mountain because these are like cliff edges that you can just fall off and you're, you're fucking done. And then I, I was like riding up and then the, the quad started to stop working and then I like started sliding back and I didn't know which way to turn because I'm like, like directionally impaired. So I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? And I started rolling like towards the edge of the cliff and I was like laughing thinking it was funny because I didn't see what was behind me. And my mom and my brother are just like, Mason what the f stop 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 and i'm like laughing i look behind me and i've stopped and there's a fucking like from me to this part of the table was just a cliff drop like fucking off a cliff so i like <laughs> nearly just fucking fell off man seems like a you know a pretty sketchy thing to be doing yeah no it's like i don't even think it's legal over there like to do that shit oh like, i don't know like some of the places just seem like you you just drive through the forest and yeah. just end up somewhere i mean it isn't illegal to you know drive off of a cliff True. Yeah. Yeah, but suicide's illegal. Isn't that funny? Yeah. In some places? No, pretty much everywhere. So you're not allowed to kill yourself. But it's like, well, if I do, then like, yeah, what are you gonna fucking do about do it? Lock me up. Put my corpse in the f <laughs> put my corpse in the fucking cell blocks. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of funny though. You know, just that prison filled with dead people. Yeah, sitting right next to Jeffrey. Yeah. Mr. Epstein. Yeah. Eppers. That's what I call him. Eppers. Yeah, Jay Eppers. You knew him well? No, I didn't know him well. I just gave him a nickname. Just watched his show and flew I was on, like... Flew on his plane like, a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't know. Size, size Island. Yeah. He has a lot of kids. I don't yeah, even, a lot, I, a lot I of children, yeah. He had a lot of kids. And they all seem like they're from different parents. Yeah, right? I guess, like, I like guess Je Jeffrey got around. Yeah, he, he clearly, you know, he got a lot of gash. Ton of gash. Yeah, got a lot of poon tang. Uh, it was active with the min. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh... I actually didn't know Jeffrey though. No? No, I was that was just a joke. Oh, it's yeah. Just a I actually never went on his jet. You said that. I was I was like, well, this is you know, you've told everyone that I've been on this jet. I've never been on his jet. So that was really quite rude of you to say that to people, actually. Just to clear the air, Toby's not a pedophile. What was that a, was that ever in question? <laughs> Did you want it to be in question? No no, I don't want people to, uh, to question that. <laughs> Probably shouldn't. And Toby is a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No more questions about it. Yeah, no more questions. About that subject. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, I was about to uh, ask a question. Oh, okay. Have you guys seen the news? What, what news? What so news? many wacky, wild stories in today's <laughs> segment of the Misfits Podcast News. Come on, Blue, play like that. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that tune, right? I love that tune. All right, so uh, the first story of today. Enlighten us. A beautiful, interesting, uh, oh, wow. All right, here we go. Monkey in Karnataka traveled 22 kilometers to take revenge Ooh. on villagers. What? Wait, what was what? the name of the monkey? Planet of the no, Apes? No, no, no. It's, uh, it's the, it's, it's in the a, species? It's in a part of a fucking area. Where the uh, fuck is this from? It's from wherever there are monkeys. <laughs> wherever monkeys live. Wherever monkeys <laughs> are. 20 miles away oh, from where the monkeys live. All right. So this is, uh, this is from Tech. Oh, wait, no. This is from the, Texas. This is, this is, no, this is the very wrong link. Blue, I think you fucked these links up. Okay. I think so. I think so. The monkey, the monkey link goes to the previous thing. Oh, oh, fuck. 
It's fine. We'll just we'll just read it. <laughs> a monkey in the neighborhood of Katagihara Village ah, of yep. Chickamauga District <laughs> in Karnataka has become a dreadful villain in the life of Jagadish BB since December 16th of 2021. This is very recent. It's only like two weeks ago. This monkey's I don't know what's been, going on. This monkey's been running rampant in this village. What's he been doing? But what has he been doing? He's a young male. First, we need to identify the monkey. He was a young male monkey. Do you have an artist okay. sketch? So he's a boy. He's if, a little, little man. If we see him, do, do we need to alert the authorities? Uh, well, we, have, we should get around it to the extent here. So a young male monkey of bonnet macaque species. Ah, uh, bonnet macaque, bruh. A five-year-old. He's five years old. Oh, he's just a baby. He was roaming around, snatching fruits and snack packets every now and then. People didn't, you know, people <laughs> didn't worry monkey. much since that's the general nature of any monkey. Yeah. And they were just cautious when they spotted him. But here's the thing. Once schools reopened, this monkey was hovering around Muraji Desai School in the area. And children were scared of him. Yeah. Which I think is pretty, pretty fucking well, how, like. Well, how big is this monkey? Well, he's probably about yay big. Oh, from the table yeah, or from I'm, the I'm ground? from the table. Uh, oh, that's yeah, a yeah, monkey. Oh, yeah, yeah, imagine being yeah. scared of that. Yeah. Fucking pussies. Well, that's the thing. It's pretty like, you know, pretty fucking awful. Pretty like, you know, I would say, uh, what, what, what would the correct word be? Just kind of rude to like just be afraid of this monkey because he's just monkeying around doing monkey business. Yeah. I think maybe they should have a little bit more respect for the monkey's culture. Yeah. Because clearly she's been, you know, conditioned to grab fruit and snack packets. Um, what the fuck know, is a snack packet? Just like <laughs> a bag of chips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so somebody complained to the forest department and a team, a highly specialized team, came in to trap this mischievous monkey. <laughs> I like the name. However, catching this monkey was no small feat. Except for his little feet, they were probably really small. <laughs> really small and cute. Anyways, the forest department staff called the nearby auto, auto drivers and other people around to help them chase the monkey into <laughs> a particular direction so that they can trap him. What the fuck? Meanwhile, auto driver Jagadish, who also went along to help the forest department team, teased to divert the monkey in the direction. The distressed monkey suddenly hopped towards him and attacked him. <laughs> it bit his hand quite hard and scraped him off. But the story is not <laughs> over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It scraped him off? Yeah. It so like jacked guy, him off no, with his claws? No, the guy scraped <laughs> him oh, off oh, his body. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. The story is not over. In less than a week, the monkey was back. Yes, believe it or not, the monkey had cleverly hopped onto a truck <laughs> that passed through a road near the Ballier Forest and reached the, the original village of Kotigahara happily. Dude. It's, and, and, and the guy, Jagadish, who had this scrap with the monkey, he says he was scared as, as hell when he heard. He said, I, in quotes, I felt a chill go down my spine when I heard the monkey is back in the village. <laughs> I called the forest department myself and asked them to rush immediately. I haven't gone out of my hiding. This man is <laughs> hiding in fear of this chimp. Vigilante of monkey. Of this fucking, of this macaque. This 30 centimeter monkey. It's fucked up. <laughs> and this, but imagine this, like you, you catch this monkey that fucking try to kill you. And then, like, you, you fucking put it, like, oh, it's 50 miles away. Put it it's 100 kilometers in a fucking forest somewhere. And this little devious chimp, he fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> right under the street, he sees a fucking thing. He puts his thumb up. He has a sign that says, <laughs> that says south. And then the fucking truck driver's like, all right, ass, grass, or cash, what do you got? And the monkey's obviously ass. Yeah. And so, you know, they do a little fucking suck. And then, bam, right back in the village. Yep. He's, he's stealing fruits. He's stealing snacks. He's fucking, he's a menace. He's a menace to society. Mason, what will you do? To get rid of this monkey. I uh, might have to try and become friends with him. I think. Yeah, it's good. Give him, I, just slowly feed him snacks, you know. Yeah. Oh, so so your strategy would be to indulge this monkey so much that he becomes so fucking obese that he can't move. Yeah. No, 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 no. Like get it, like dude, it can be like partner in crime. If you, oh, oh, so you, you want to help? Him? So you would you would aid this monkey. You yeah. would be you would be complicit. You would be uh, you would be an accessory to turn, the crime. Turn him good and then use him as like a partner in crime like to fend off people. Would, would you would you make okay. him the the fall guy? Would it be like, you know, you're you're trafficking drugs internationally nah, with, with your chimp not friend? like some hangover shit. Like I mean, like probably just I don't know. 
probably like well, stop- you know just you, you commit a crime but then you can just put it, bl- blame it all on the monkey yeah what are they gonna do arrest a monkey uh, that's a good question. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like help them, help get him to help with like robberies and stuff. Not like do the robberies. Like, right, he would be doing the robbery. Like give him a gun or something, and then yeah, just, give him the gun. What the fuck? Are you gonna give the monkey a gun? Yeah, teach him how to use it. Well, you, don't, you, don't, you don't trust the monkey with a gun. No, you don't trust this monkey with a gun. Uh, that's a completely fair assessment <laughs> to make because this this guy's a this guy's a, a, a fucking character. Yeah, you know, I I reckon what it is is that he was there was a boy in the village. And the mm. boy died in a horrific monkey accident. Wait, so the monkey killed people? The monkey did not kill oh, anybody. Okay. But the monkey so seriously far, injured a man's hand. Uh, yeah. And bit him on the head. It bit, but, the, bit the hand that fed him, uh, metaphorically. But I, reckon, I reckon that boy died and was reincarnated as a monkey. And he wanted mm. to come back to his home village and hang out like it was normal. So he's having snacks with his village friends. And then all of a sudden, they tried to rush him out of the village. And he, you know, he's just five years old, so he's got a big temper. He can't contain it. And then he bit someone, and now they're pissed. Yeah, I get, I get that. See, a monkey bites someone on the hand, they just fucking, you know, move them away and don't do anything to him. But I bite my dentist on the hand, and they call the fucking cops. Yeah, I mean, bro, you just got to make him your friend, bro. You got to slowly bring him back the to dentist? society. The dentist? Fuck the dentist. No, not the dentist, the fucking monkey. Oh, well, the monkey's bring a different Bring the monkey story. back to, to the society, bro. I'd probably, I'd give him a blunt. I'd give the monkey a blunt. True. That's yeah, a, but that's your solution to everything. Yes, yeah, but uh, when has is, when is that ever failed me? Then you see vitality. Valid. Probably when I try to get out of the... Oh, yeah. Fr- Fed, fed a monkey a bong. Yeah. yeah. They, the strat usually doesn't work out for me when I get pulled over by cops. For drug I have a blunt. Yeah. They go, here's a speeding ticket. I go, hi, hi you want a reverse card? Here's a fucking massive blunt. Yeah, just sprinkle some grams. weed on the ticket, roll it up. What yeah. would happen if you got, like, I got a good theory. You uh-huh. know, like, people have, like, disability dogs. Yeah. Like, okay. For disabilities. Disability dogs. What if like, a monkey that can drive as a disability thing? That would be pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah. And that- then all the small children and pregnant women he runs over. No. It's all his fault. But, like, they'd be trained. They can get trained, I think. Yeah, but what if he was having a bad day? What if he was having a really bad day and they just want to run over everybody on his side? Why was it specifically small children and pregnant women? Don't you, ever just media no, well, don't you ever see like a bunch of you know like a fucking young woman you know with a stroller with like two infants you just go okay, down the yeah. street and you look at them and you're like this bitch is too happy <laughs> i just want to fucking ruin everything i, I don't think i do uh no yeah, neither do i i'm content with other people's happiness are you sometimes sometimes you just say ah uh, fucking cunt Exactly. <laughs> and well, then you the want to tra- drive in this, into them. in this scenario, the monkey driving, you just be okay. like, you just look at them over and be like, mm-hmm. you, look, you look back and you'd be like, mm-hmm. you could probably like, teach oh, yeah. a monkey to drive. Like, they probably could. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've taught dogs to drive. Bro, if a monkey saw me right now, they'd probably fucking eat me. Why? Because I'd be yellow, bro. They're going to think oh, I'm a banana. Because you scalped the bananas in pajamas. You scalped the bananas in pajamas. Bananas and, pajamas and stole their skin. Yeah. True. Freak. Oh, no. It's fucking Buffalo Bill from San Francisco. Bro, that monkey will go for me first, man. What's his name again? His name? I don't think he had a name. We can give him a name. <laughs> what would we name this terror? I don't know. <laughs> um... Melvin the Menace. I don't know. Melvin the Menace. Yeah, okay. Melvin Dennis the Menace. the Menace, but a monkey. Okay. I'd probably name him like Bagongo. I think I'd call him Al Qaeda. <laughs> oh, God. You'd call him Al Qaeda? Because he's just a bit of a nuisance, isn't he? <laughs> he's a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, he's trying to take over this town, this little village. And we're like, come on, guys. We got, we got a forest department. They're going to come get you. Mm. Look, he's going to come for our forest. Well, that's next. the thing. That would be a really good thing. If they just said the monkey was a fucking terrorist. Then they probably yeah. would be able to. They would have uh, got drone striked by yeah, the US. They probably, they, yeah, <laughs> they probably. Yeah. That isn't a bad call. Well, they probably would have missed and hit a hospital or something. Yeah, but then you could just write it off as, you know, yeah, tax it, it, it's an over True. the horizon strike. You know, yeah. it's, it's fine. It just shows, you know, our capability of targeting women and children. <laughs> Maybe you could Driving like, a white van filled with water women. and food. Instead of. Instead of baiting him like they did and cornering him, true, they should just got a decoy like myself in the banana <clears throat> costume. That's smart. Mm-hmm. So you can get those mon- easily because humans naturally are quicker than thirty centimeter tall monkeys. Could <laughs> run into like through a cage and then drop one down or something like like some movie shit. You know, yeah, like, like a cartoon. Yeah, that or, would be cool. Yeah, or you put another banana there, he gets distracted. You know the problem up. with that oh, is bang, the problem with the drop down cages is they don't have a bottom. 
So like, what? How, how do you move them? You put a little piece yeah, of paper like a spot, under it. like a spot, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like a cup. Put a little piece of paper, and then you flip it upside <laughs> down. Yeah, and then he's funked. All right, I'm on board again. What about you, man? What would you name this little chimp? And how would you get rid of him? How would you dispose of this guy? Bro, fucking get like a film crew and everything, cause yeah, like film crew? the fucking way you're describing it, they had to like chase him in cars, back him into a corner. So, you, so, you, would, so you would you would monetize like, the shit out of him. Yeah, dude, <laughs> make the best of the situation. It's that's, like an action, like a John Wick, but with a monkey. That's fucking really smart. Does the monkey then, you give the, then you give the monkey a gun. That would have made a yeah. good. That would have documented. Put it on lively. I mean, I was thinking like blockbuster, but yeah, you could do whatever. Blockbuster? blockbuster. Are you trying to fail? Universal Bro, I'm filming a monkey, man. I got my options are limited. I'm going for whatever I can dude, get. Netflix says yes to anything. Ooh, maybe I should hit them up. Hit yeah. up, hit up Netflix. Say hey, this is the the killer monkey from a country. Get the guy that, that does I, the um, that planet Earth is like, unlisted. David commentary. Attenborough. Yeah, get him to do it too. Yeah. So. That would make a cool documentary. Pulls up to AK-47. <laughs> I've seen videos of that like monkeys just pulling out AKs and spraying yeah, and shit. Yeah, like, I think the, the video of the chimp, it was like in Africa where it was like uh, it was like a bunch of like uh, guerrilla warfare guys. <laughs> uh, guerrilla warfare. Uh, yeah, which is pretty good. Like some Far Cry shit. Yeah, yeah. Like some Far Cry shit. They're all sitting around with AKs. There's a little chimp or whatever and they give the chimp the AK and they're like filming it or whatever and then it starts like shooting. <laughs> no, he's got like, like one hand and walking with it. And just oh, shooting. that was yeah. real, I think. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, but the, there was this other video which was turned out to be like a promo for the planet of the apes movie oh. where like it was this chimp really bad quality and it's actually legitimately started shooting an ak that was oh, wow. that was bullshit i think but the, the the video that you're talking about of the chimp walking with the ak by his side strapped like a fucking g yeah the ak was unloaded oh. and safety was on maybe there was like some um, uh some cgi to make it look like the monkey was no, i probably legitimately gave him a real gun because like if he was shooting if this like little monkey was shooting an ak that was probably touching the ground while he's swinging it like he the arm would shoot up yeah probably like you would not be able to shoot that there's no way yeah that was an interesting little story <laughs> of, a, of a monkey terrorizing a village Melvin the menace. Revenge. why Melvin does the menace. why does the village have uh, a forest department Probably because they live next to a forest. I, I don't know. I just, when I hear village, I think of like a small place, like in a remote area. Next to a forest or a mountain, maybe. Yeah, I guess, but not big enough to have a forest department. Or maybe it's like one of their only departments. Yeah. <laughs> if guess. they like double up, like the forest department's also like the firemen or some oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is All right. Yeah. So you think that story was fucking crazy? Do you guys see that story? That's pretty insane? crazy. Uh, that's what have I? What have I told you? I could one up there. I won't believe it. you. I won't believe you. No way. Okay, get this. A new drug has hit the streets. Let's oh, go. let's go. A new drug has hit the <laughs> streets. Can't wait to try this. In <laughs> Africa, uh, it is an that African means it probably drug. Probably eats your skin. <laughs> what? I a new crocodile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So a new craze. For a drug derived from crushed vehicle exhaust filters is rattling authorities in Kinshasa, the capital of the Congo, triggering a campaign to stamp out the concoction in a related rash of car part thefts. So people are stealing car parts. Uh, and then getting high. Specifically crushed vehicle exhaust filters. So the cat. On the car, so it's like it's like spray paint in a bag kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah. What is it, like chroming? <laughs> yeah, <what> pretty much. <laughs> in August, police rounded up and paraded, paraded, nearly 100 alleged dealers and users of the drug, Bombe, 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 which means what? Uh, exa- car exhaust that you can inhale. Like more. Chroming. Give me more. <laughs> like chroming paper bags. Bombay <laughs> in the local Lingala language means powerful. Like a bomb. Oh. Oh. What it's... a weird name for a drug. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that will hit like... Wait, so it's only like car exhaust over there? It's crushed No, you could, you could steal exhaust my car exhaust, exhaust to get high if you want. Oh, fucking super too. Yeah. I'll do a good job. <laughs> Dude, well, to yeah. Japanese, that's like a wagon yeah, exhaust. Yeah, that shit's good. <laughs> so yeah, so basically the like, 100 alleged dealers of Bombay How were, can you be a dealer of a fucking crushed car? Crushed, crushed you, you crush <laughs> long Fucking Toby's get a sawzall, sugar. start chopping up exhaust yeah, you And then there you, you go, you you're basically keeping. crush up car exhaust filters and put them in little bags And then you sell the so people like that, You know that thing you crush the, um, the, like for cooking? Yeah, mortar, the, and mortar and pestle Mortar and pestle, yeah Yeah, yeah, it's like that 
FBA. So the Democratic Republic of the Congo, pr- President Felix Tshisekedi. Yeah, what's up, Felix? Tshisekedi. Sh- Fix it, Felix, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Fix up the Congo, <laughs> baby. Let's go. Fucking four more years, baby. Woo! Yeah, so here we are. In an abandoned shack in a suburb of oh, Kinshasa, classy. a young man seeking oblivion slits oh, open. He just wanted to play some oblivion. Slits open a <laughs> bag of brown powder. Wait, it's brown? Blending it with a couple of crushed pills using the bag of a spoon before snorting the Bombay mixture with his friends. He says, "We used to drink very strong whiskey. We were restless and we hurt people." Uh, I said Cedric, a 26-year-old <laughs> gang leader in what? a white designer shirt. But with Bombay, it calms you down. You get tired. You stay somewhere standing up or sitting down for a very long time. When you're done, <laughs> when you're done, you go home without bothering anyone. So basically, <laughs> what this guy is saying that without Bombay to completely fry his fucking synapses, yeah, they just get he's drunk. A, he's a murderous, people. violent piece of shit. And with Bombay, he's literally making himself retarded. So he's not a danger to anybody. Good what, do have to, what do you have to say about that? Maybe Bombay's in that bank. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Kind of seems like we should just let them have it. Yeah, uh, I don't know why they're even, like, dealing with shit. As long as they shit. don't steal my exhaust, then I'm fine with so it. It's not like know? a chemical created... They're, I think they're legitimately... Snorting, like, metals and shit. They're legitimately crushing up car exhaust filters... Well, they're also and mixing, mixing it, it with, with pills. crushed pills. It sounds like they're just, they should just be taking the pills. Yeah, but mm. the thing is, they're like, it's Bombay, there's this car exhaust... It's like Jesse Pinkman, where he adds, like, hot sauce to his meth to make it better. It's like you're adding the exhaust filters, they think that makes it so much better. You know, <laughs> would I try it? Probably not. What if you're would old? I, would I watch someone try it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd watch a Vice documentary on it. Can we exactly. find this on? Li- is there like a live leak video? Yeah. Surely, like, that would be Vice documentary. Yeah, can you soon. can you pull up a video of somebody see, doing Bombay? I want to see a bong a Bombay. B O M B E, Bombay, 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 Bombay clout. I mean, <laughs> if you just owned a junkyard, you could become a Bombay dealer. You pretty could, easily, but yeah. you would also need pills. <laughs> uh, but so you can't leg. do the Bombay on its own. I get you could. Surely you could. You could. So, but is he implying in that message that he's doing it on its own or mixing it? He's mixing it with yeah. crushed oh, pills. Oh, I think I, I, think so I know it's probably what it is. Just, it's probably just the um, the catalytic converter. It like starts. It absorbs like uh, the unburnt shit. Mm-hmm. So you're getting like a bunch of concentrated like exhaust fumes all in one hit. Yeah, it's like sniffing petrol at the gas station, but you're getting like. A thousand sniffs worth and like I love, oh, yeah. oh, that, yeah. Yeah. love that. Oh yeah. fuck your brain cells. I would love to sniff <laughs> yeah. some petrol. Well the cat <laughs> get me the, going. The cat's meant to like hold in the shit that pollutes the environment, right? Yeah, so they're just like snorting all that in like yeah. one go. They're just huffing yeah, pollution. They're, they're, fuck. Just, they're just you know, Jesus. they're they're taking the carbon that would have been in the atmosphere and they're putting it back in the ground. Because after of, they huff it, they they fucking kill themselves and they have to be buried. It's kinda nice of them, really. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Huh. Yeah. Good on them. <laughs> Reduce, reduce actually respect Bombay. <laughs> so I'm assuming blue that you can't pull up a picture of a African man doing Bombay. No, it's just a white powder. Oh, you oh, said it was brown, whitish brown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, for those at home, uh, just stick to just stick to weed. Yeah. And alcohol. Have a bomb. How old? Uh, when you're a parent, mm-hmm. how old are you gonna? Like, how old do you want your child to be? Before you let you're okay with them smoking weed, probably seventeen, eighteen. Girl, pre- it depends. If I if I get like a good like hint that he's hanging around people that are probably smoking when they're sixteen, then I'll be like, look, if you're gonna smoke, like here's you know, he'd probably smoke a pop or two with him just so he knows what he's getting into. He doesn't freak out. Doesn't yeah. get scared. He's yeah. safe when he actually does it. I suppose you can have like the standard for that, but. These days, everything's just getting to younger, younger and younger ages. The real question is, how old do you want your kid to be before they try Bombay? <laughs> Five. I'd, they, say, I'd say for maybe six or seven. When I'd they want travel to, alone. I'd want them to be into cars, I think. So I'm just going to fucking destroy their brain cells so they think cars are cool. <laughs> you trying to say that only people with destroyed brain cells think cars are cool? Yeah, absolutely. I th- no, no wonder. No, I, I <laughs> no, think, no wonder you had to ask. Look, I think cars are cool because they're sexy, okay? Bombay user. <laughs> I don't even use that much Bombay, guys. Little, just scrapes just a little from the exhaust. Yeah. Blood, yeah. Starts, <laughs> blood starts dripping out his nose. Isn't there a, isn't there a type of like liquor called Bombay? Isn't it like yeah, a... Yeah, it's Bombay Sapphire. It's spelled yeah. differently, though. Okay, okay. 
It's Bombay with an A Y. Like, hey, oh, wait, this so how do you drink spell, is bomb. How do you spell Bombay? The... It's Bombay with an E. Bomb E. Oh. Bombay. Maybe it's Bombay. Maybe it's French for something. No, I think it's African. It's French for fucking car exhaust crushed up with pills. <laughs> Snort me. <laughs> so I was. Oh yeah, I don't. I still don't understand the full concept. So you you crunch up the actual exhaust part. So you get no, it's a filter in the exhaust. So like a catalytic converter. Oh, so you just you rev get, it and you, then get it in a bag and then. No, no. So, so you get the filter. You like you literally steal parts from a car. It's like right. you so cut off your We're going to Africa. We're gonna try yeah. this out. <laughs> we don't even have to go to Africa to try it out. All we need is some There's pills like, a and cars some right exhaust. There. We, There's can try guy, here. we got three cars in this garage. Got some rolling papers. We it can looks try like this. That. That's what that's what they're crushing up. Oh, okay. And that's yeah. got, that's got like stuff inside. It's got it. like all this shit inside yeah. of it. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. Got, like all the bad shit that your engine is putting out is in there. It's like it's like the coke. It's like a coconut eating a coconut, but you eat the shell. So you know the good stuff is on the inside. Yeah. And yeah, but the like shell, the shells, you know, the shell in a coconut has all the vitamins. Oh, well, there you go. So Bombay has some nutrients. So many nutrients. <laughs> just, just a car shit coconut. That, shit that would have just been wasted sitting there in a stupid filter and not polluting the atmosphere. Or exactly. in some meth head's hands to buy more meth to sell, <laughs> you know? Well, let's do Bombay. Let's use it directly. I think that now that we're on the topic of drugs, this will be the final story of, of, the, uh, okay. of, of, the, of the news segment. Okay. Public urination My at favorite. Glastonbury <laughs> Festival leaves traces of cocaine... An MDMA in the river. <laughs> Public urination what? at Glastonbury Festival <laughs> led to illegal drugs entering a, ri a river running through the famous Somerset site in southwestern England, potentially harming wildlife, according to a new study. Researchers at Bangor University in Wales discovered high levels of cocaine and MDMA in the White Lake River, which Funny runs... Funny, called what? Yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, which runs through Worthy Farm, where the hugely popular music festival is usually held with more than 200,000 That's fucked. Attendees. Which one was it? Glastonbury. Oh. oh the the study oh. found MDMA concentrations quadrupled the week after the 2019 festival, while cocaine wait, concentrations... There was some, wait, hold on. There was some in there before even yes, the festival? Yes, Does the UK just, like, naturally, like, sweat it out of them? Dude, the there's, nothing, people, like, there's well, nothing to do there besides... All the bros and chaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, wow, they're fucking just gurning everywhere. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was a couple of years ago, uh, they suggested MDMA as an alternate therapy to dentistry. Uh, so all of them just started popping it super hard, <laughs> thinking it, it fixed their fucking oh, snaggle that's, teeth. Maybe that's the reason why their teeth is all fucked up well, in the first place. Yeah, maybe maybe it's because they're... They're, they're bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. They're like if, a you, if your mom snag. loves your dad a lot... Yeah, like, but we if your mom loves your dad like a brother, then it's cool. And if your mom loves your brother like a dad, that's even cooler. <laughs> 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 Wait, so there was so much there was cocaine so much. and MD done uh, at this at Glastonbury yes. that the urination in the river Increased. led to traces yes. of... That's fucking wild. So the cocaine concentrations reached levels previously shown to affect the life cycle of European eels, which are present in the river and are critically endangered. Eels are dying because people are doing <laughs> drugs and pissing into the river. Are they ele like electric eels? No, they're just, just normal eels. Right. They, they just start fucking like... Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they start glowing. Festival, yeah. They start fucking glowing. They'd be kind of sick. Yeah. No, but uh, it's fucking insane, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Can you imagine, you imagine like... Think of all that urine wasted that you could have drank to get high. Yeah. That's some next level thinking. That's that's what Bear Grylls would think. <laughs> you, need, you need to think like a survivalist. All right, we've absolutely run right, out we've of run MDMA. Out of <laughs> now we're going to take our friend's urine and we're going to recycle it and get high once more. <laughs> I'd watch the fuck out of that. Bear Grylls just... That's actually true thing. <laughs> what, you want to drink people's dr piss? Uh, uh, not what, yet to get high on? again. To get high. Go on. You said <laughs> you went deep in glass uh, No, no, it's all right. Uh, <laughs> have you drank uh, urine? No, bro. Little How much <laughs> urine? I got lost odds on, bro, at, like four years ago. So what was it? What was the eyes on? Fucking, it was on like ten or twenty. He's right, but what was it for? So bring us through this whole thing. Well, guys, get this. Oh, I drank my own piss. <laughs> Wait, it was your own? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess that's the best way to do it. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, even anybody else's urine. 
It's one of the most sterile substances the body it produces. It wasn't very sterile. It was full uh, of alcohol and booze. <laughs> alcohol was sterile. It, but, was yeah. it, but was it like, it would have been, it would have been clear. I, bro, I had a sip and munted after. It was fucked. My, maybe it was the alcohol. And I couldn't brush the taste out for like two hours. Oh my God. Is that <laughs> bad? It was so warm and salty. <laughs> <laughs> anybody, anybody that says that they have not, they've not tasted their own urine is a liar. <laughs> Is a liar. I got it shit out of the way when I was like seven at a urinal. I just fucking went Bro, through my stream, gave it a taste. I was like, it doesn't taste try, like man. anything. It but just like, tastes... I would have never done it if I didn't lose odds on. Bro, whenever I've lost sure. odds on, I've committed like you, every time. You don't strike me as the kind of person who would voluntarily drink their own piss. <laughs> oh, <okay>. Correct <laughs> me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but you just don't strike me as the kind of guy who, yeah. who would guzzle liters of his, own, of his own urine. Well, if I was out in the wilderness, you know. Yeah. My rust instincts would kick in. I'd be yeah, like, just pick up a big rock and start yeah. hitting a tree for hours. Being like, why isn't it going down? Where's the red axes? Bro, yeah, legit. And if I, I reckon if I was out in the wilderness surviving, I'd get knocked out by a coconut. That's how I'd go. Like, what if you're in an area with no coconuts? <laughs> Uh, some coconut will still fall on me somehow, bro. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a fucking cargo ship carrying coconuts. <laughs> just fucking a couple just fall out. <laughs> Fucking murder you! Wow. These stream snipers all the way out there still. <laughs> yeah, dude. Bro, the fucking, stream snipers are so bad. You're, you're on a deserted island with <laughs> SOS and a fucking big like rubber tire car fire for black smoke. You're fucking shining like mirrors and reflections into <laughs> helicopters and planes, but nobody's coming. And some guy comes on a boat. He's like, "I oh, fuck you, cunt." <laughs> just some stream sniper. Yeah, just some guy stream, stream sniping. Sniper. Well, on the topic of uh, of drugs and festivals, uh, if you guys were at a festival and you had drugs that you were going to do at this festival, at some festivals recently they've been they've been having tents where you people can go test and them? no questions asked test their drugs. Oh, that's cool. Would you feel comfortable testing your drugs at somewhere like that? Absolutely. Yeah, they put yeah. up a tent and everything. Yeah. No. Like, I mean, it, it is what it's for. But it's I think like a lot of people anyway, but... would still be super sketched out by it. What would be so sketchy? Who they take your drugs? I don't know. Or or like cops who watch or something. No, I, I don't think there's anything wrong. I think it's fucking amazing that they're doing. I think yeah. it's a great idea. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people just wouldn't do it. Yeah, but nothing's more of a buzzkill, like because it's like you know you're with your pals. You're like, hey, maybe before we take all this acid, we yeah. should fucking test it at this free fucking testing site. Yeah. And they're like, oh, that's kind of a buzzkill, bro. You don't trust your drugs. You'd be like, well, an even bigger buzzkill would be to take two tabs of N bomb and fucking die. Yeah. So, you know, Man's I wrong. know I've spoken to uh, a lot of people who like from the that are big in like the club scene and like mm, partying and the stuff. Gays. <laughs> I just know a lot of people that, that used to, well, will still do, like, go out and do drugs every weekend. And, you know, I'll ask them, like, have you ever tested your anything before you've taken it? And they're like, no, what do you mean test my... Like, they just don't think of it. It's just not a thing. They just will take whatever fucking pill that some random dude they're partying with gives them. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah, the last drug test I did was, you know, I got, like, a C. <laughs> it was, like, a C+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I passed, but it wasn't, it wasn't with honors or anything. <laughs> That's, you know, well, that passes all you need. I wanted an H1, but I got an H3. H3, H3? What what the fuck is H1? Yeah. H1Z1? And what is H3? H1Z1? Isn't it like an odd, isn't that the thing here in, in Melbourne, like, unis? Isn't it like... It's high get, distinction. Yeah, there's H1 and H2 and uh, H3. High distinction. No it's like an A+. Plus, it's like honors dis- one, honors two, honors three okay. or something. I don't know. It's weird grading. I yeah. might, I, dude, when I was going to school, like growing up, I used to get high distinctions and then my grades just slowly plummeted as I get went through the years. Like I was getting such good grades and then just all flopped. Yeah, well, then you started, you were like, oh, I'm going to be famous. So I'm just going to fucking practice writing my signature. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I actually? I think I actually you, you told did us that. this. Oh, you told yeah. us this. That you fucking, you, you got yelled at by your teacher because you were writing your name. Oh, he was yeah. practicing your signature. Fuck. That was funny. And yeah, I really putting that signature hand to use recently. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. Not really can't going do it. Anywhere. I can't do it. I can't. I always did terribly in school. I just never gave a fuck. And I was one of those people that was like, oh, I'll, you know, like next year it's more important. I'll just fucking, I'll do it next year. And it just never did anything. Never paid attention. So you attention. had senioritis who's a freshman and a sophomore and a junior. Yeah, just. Never did anything. I, I I once got called to the principal's office at high school, and they were like, "Look, Toby, you know, if 
if if you keep going down this path, we might have to ask you to leave, like as a way to scare me into just doing stuff. Yeah. And then the next day, I <laughs> just went to a new school. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck wow. them, just two two middle fingers up, see yeah. boys. I'm out. Mm. <laughs> fuck you, Principal Jonathan, whoever your fucking name is. <laughs> Principal Jonathan. Yeah, fuck you, Principal Jonathan. <laughs> what is that his actual name? I don't fucking know what their name was. <laughs> Would you imagine? Just be like the I most some, unprofessional principal. principals back in the day. Just fucking sitting down. Just fucking going to the office. Just like, hi. Just like, hi, I'm Principal Jonathan. Do you know why you're here? <laughs> like, hi, I'm Principal Zach. Imagine their, last, their last name is just Jonathan. It's like the fucking first name. I had this principal called me Principal Cherry, and his face used to get really red when he yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Go, that's what you call Principal Dude, Cherry. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah it's Principal Cherry Bomb. You're so fucking mad, you might explode, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cherry. I mean, Principal Cherry. <laughs> dude, fucking. I, I also had some fucking. Dude, in our school, we had four principals. We had four. What? We had four. What? It was a big no fucking high school. Weird. It was like 3,000 people. High schools in America are so populated. Like, so yeah, it's, it's, all, it's like, like a prison. My, <laughs> my, my high school had like a fucking 800 people. That's it. And my primary school, my first primary school had like 200. You had like a fucking compound. <laughs> you had a massive compound. Full compound, high yeah, huge. <laughs> fucking huge. Everything, yeah. Yeah. My, I always found that with with uh, principals and vice principals, it was always the, the principals were always kind of nice, and from my experience, and the vice principals were always cunts. It's because like it was like principals have to deal with the actual administration shit. They yeah. have to deal with the teachers being cunts. Yeah. But it's the vice principal is like, okay, well, you're in charge of like actually dealing with these fucking little 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 mutated fucks yeah. running around the halls hitting jewels in the bathroom. <laughs> Think you can I, handle that? That's fucked. That that's the thing now, eh? Dude, yeah, dude it's so fucking funny. It's so funny. It yeah, just like, smoke cigarettes like we used to. It's like you speak like yeah. weed, and now it's like jewels. Like, yeah, you know, you, know you fucking you know, you go to the jewel room. It's like the fucking rice room became the jewel room. They <laughs> fucking sit down. They lock themselves in the stall. And they fucking they lean oh, over. Oh, then they steal the stall. Lean over the toilet like a fucking idiot. Bro, they'll fucking probably blow their smoke they'll probably and turn them into like trap bases at some stage. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like you fucking you, you hit a jewel in there, and the door's just slam shot until we get caught yeah it's just fucking it's a, it's a fucking it's big a big cage with iron bars descends from the ceiling and traps you like that like 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 mischievous melvin like melvin, <laughs> <laughs> melvin the menace mischievous melvin, the menace. melvin is like curious george mischievous it, it george. it's like this curious it's curious george it's just like you know kind of like you know here's the here's the difference curious george would look up his skirt you know, passing by, but mischievous Melvin would fucking put a phone down and record it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you reckon Curious George was like when he grew up? Like, you know, he was hanging out in the big city. He was chilling. And he's then... probably a lot less curious. He's probably like more so like. <sighs> Rapey. Rapey George. Rape, rapey George does not have a ring to it. Yeah. So I guess he probably wasn't like then. more like creepy George. He's like mm. a step below. Yeah. Maybe he was gay, George, and he just got really into taking those pills that loosen up your asshole. <laughs> I don't what? know. I'm just, just throwing them out. I'm just throwing them out. monkey should be know, taking geez. pills, all right? You know, I, thought, I thought this was unless a safe you're, space. Unless they're fucking my pills. Uh huh? Unless they're my pills. My I make, pills. My, I make money I like, off those monkeys. I don't want monkeys taking pills. I want my pills. <laughs> <laughs> my pills. <laughs> Dude, I, I watched this thing on YouTube, which... It made me laugh so much. It was this one guy, I forgot his name, but he was talking about Norm MacDonald, mm. uh, the comic oh, who passed also, recently. Yeah, rest in peace, Norm MacDonald, one of the greatest we, fucking, fucking comedians really, of all time. Uh, that, that was the one piece of news this year that fucking ruined, ruined yeah. my week. And all yeah. I've been doing now is watching Norm MacDonald compilations. And there was this one thing uh, where this one guy was like criticized in a, in a newspaper or like a fucking tabloid thing. And they said that he had the he had the charm of a date rapist, <laughs> and he was and he was like upset, and so he like confided in Norm, and he was like really upset about it. And he told Norm, he's like, they, you know, they, they compare me. They said that I was as charming as a date rapist, and Norm and Norm said, I, oh yeah, it's good, it's good, you know. He was like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? Why is it good? He goes. Oh, well, a uh, date rapist has to have a lot more charm than a regular rapist. Yeah, they have to get a date. Which is fucking super true. <laughs> which is super true. I just wanted to repeat that because it fucking made, made my morning. Yeah. 
I yeah, love Norm Macdonald. Everything that Norm Macdonald did, I was a fan of. It's so good. Yeah, he, dude. Very talented individual. I don't know, I don't know him, but you would know. Him. Like if I saw if I, if, if I saw if I showed you some of the shows, like, I would know. Yeah. I absolutely showed you uh, shit before. Yeah, you showed me heaps of different. Would have been like a. Would have been like two years ago now. Hey, what was good? Steve O's um. Oh movie. yeah, that yeah, was fun. Didn't we watch that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, that was fucking funny. That was really good. And he ate, I actually don't want to spoil it yeah. for the for the guy. I what, can't. I can't wait it? for for the fucking new uh, Jackass, Jackass film, yeah, dude. Yeah, that'll what, be good. Was it Jackass Reborn or something? Um, uh, yeah, I think it's, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. We like got all the old cast or something. And stuff. Yeah, Johnny Jackass Knoxville. Forever. Is that what you said? Yeah, Jackass yeah. Forever. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be so. Sick. That'll be good. That'll be a good little like we'll have to, dose we'll, of clarity for. We'll like, have to fucked fucked do. We'll shit. have to do some kind of like marathon. We watch all the Jackass movies together. Yeah, I watched them recently. Fucking they never failed to make me. Dude, laugh. the one, so the funny. one where they where the. <laughs> They did the like the diorama, the diarrhea diorama, where it was like a fucking, it was a fucking volcano, yeah. and the guy's oh. ass was the top, and he fucking like projectile, dude, put, oh, projectile oh, yeah. shit. Dude, where they put their cock in the snakes in the dude, fucking and diorama it bites, as well. Yeah, and it bites as a rabbit. It was like a little rabbit with <laughs> a little mouse. Fucked, bro. It was so good. Imagine getting your dick bit by a snake. Yeah. Oh, oh, that would fucking hurt. I wouldn't want it bit, but I wouldn't mind it if it tried to swallow it whole. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's, you know. You know what? You know what I like to swallow whole. Gamer subs. No, come. Oh. Oh. But also gamer subs, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This episode of the Misfits Podcast is brought to you by Gamer Subs. Gamer Subs is an amazing powdered energy drink that you can get in your hands now. If you go to GamerSubs.gg, you can go ahead and pick out a couple of really, really good flavors. You got Misfits Melon, which is our very own flavor that you could enjoy. We also have Pineapple Cocktail, which has a great... Are you still in the Gamers House, Mason? Are you borrowing it? Talk closer to the mic. Being a little mischievous <laughs> Mason, I think. No, I'm not stealing Gamers so. what, what are you doing with those? You don't need to steal it. You know you can get 10% off oh, if you code Misfits, right? That's right. right. 10% off with code MISFITS. Yeah. On I'm gamersubs.gg. <laughs> I'm actually going to take this podcast cocktail because it's actually... No, not this one. Yeah, it's wa- it, that's waifu, waifu candy. Waifu candy. Yeah, it's waifu candy. And pineapple cocktail. Do I get pissed as off this? You could. You could. Uh-huh. You know... I don't recommend uh, mixing alcohol Definitely with, with gamer subs legally. I don't recommend <laughs> that. But... You know, I wouldn't recommend it in the same way that you miss that, that you would mix Jägermeister with Red Bull. Yeah, I would not recommend that at all. Yeah, but if you did, it might have a chance to be really tasty. So, anyways, if you are interested in gaming hard, fucking hard, and coming hard, then go to <laughs> gamersubs.gg and use code Misfits for ten percent off. Pog, your order. Now, I I feel like the podcast has kind of come to a natural ending point. I I mean, I would have I would have ended it. Uh, before the ad, and then you threw that ad in there, and I was like, "Oh, this is even better." <laughs> there was something happened at the just before that the ad, and I was like, "I thought we were just going to end just it." But then naturally, you I said think. that, so yeah. Well, yeah. now that we've just gotten completely meta, then we're just going to have to do. We're just going to have to fucking scrap the show and go from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to the Misfits this podcast. podcast. Brad, rated who's five. Doing the intro? Oh yeah, right. Rated rated five stars. We don't do okay, that. I'll, I'll, I got this. Hello, welcome to the Misfits podcast, rated five stars by, how we start the first one? Who? Who? Asked. Who asks? Um, and that's been the show. Dude, that was an awesome episode. Yeah, that was epic. <laughs> <laughs> that was an epic show, guys. Um, are we gonna are we gonna open with that with that whole scalping bit? I think it was <laughs> funny. I don't know if we should cut it or not. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, it was, I think it we really should cut was, it. It was uh, kind of norm. Uh, it was kind of norm. Mm. I don't even know what scalping is still. So okay, so scalping <laughs> is when like you get a knife and then you like run it right along the hairline and then you fucking yank back the hairline and take the scalp off. Oh, okay. You can live for up to five to seven days without a scalp. Really? Yeah, it's not not a comfortable way to live. I mean, you live forever without a scalp too. Because that's what scalps are. If they just don't scalp you in the first place, there you go. Just get some head and shoulders. It fixes your scalp. Exactly. Uh, It'll burn like hell, but you'll get a, you you won't have to worry about dandruff ever again. (laughs) (laughs) That's been the show. This was the Misfits podcast on Spotify one week early. If you're still watching on YouTube. Yeah, hi. 
You write, you write a comment or something, you pussy. <laughs> Anyways, bye. We Later. love you. Bye. Bye.